Anyone with a Wii has probably heard of Homebrew, the ultimate tool for making your Wii awesome. If you've watched my videos, you'll know how awesome Homebrew is. But something we've never talked about is the risks Homebrew poses. If you're considering homebrewing your Wii or already have, you need to watch this video. So today, we'll talk about why you might not want to homebrew your Wii, but also how you can prevent it. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to the channel to show your support. Thank you, and let's begin. There are three reasons on the list. The first one is that it can permanently destroy your console. This is called a brick. While homebrew is generally safe, and many apps have been tested to not brick, many apps haven't done things such as installing themes, using sketchy homebrew apps, or not following specific rules on how to do something will likely brick your console. We'll talk about how you can prevent this at the end of the video, so stay tuned. Secondly, certain apps and games are illegal to use. Doing things such as playing copyrighted ROMs, installing pirated apps, and more can pose legal concerns. Piracy is a crime investigated by the FBI, and if you are caught doing it, you can be fined a lot of money. While I believe playing games you can't find anymore and don't do anything greedy with them is justified, that isn't exactly legal advice. Not to mention how strict Nintendo is about copyright. Just this month, Nintendo shut down the Steam edition of an emulator called Dolphin, which can play Wii games, for allegedly stealing code that they argue is copyrighted. Unfortunately it's just a dangerous thing to do, and I myself have done it. So while I won't say no to piracy, I certainly won't say yes. Be careful when doing that. If you want to see a video for more information on legal stuff, I've made a video and linked it in the description and at the end of the video. And finally, number 3. Homebrew can reduce the performance on your Wii and make it cluttered. Some people including me have wanted to customize their Wii, and gone maybe a little too far. Homebrew I find slows down your Wii a bit, and you can easily go to far in and can't get out. That's what she said! <laughs> But I wouldn't worry about this. Just make sure you don't do too much to the Wii. If it bricks, or the drives get corrupted, you're losing a lot of data. It happened to me, and it can happen to you. So with all these risks, what can you do to prevent them? Well, the first thing I suggest doing is making a backup of your console after you've installed the homebrew channel. You can boot up these backups if you brick your console. Again, be careful of piracy, do your research before installing stuff, and be aware. And that's pretty well it, make sure to like if this was useful, and comment below if you've ever had a brick. I would love to get monetized so I can make better videos for you guys have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.